two, one. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Seoul at home. We got another workout for you. This one's gonna be kind of long. So listen That's up kids. Said. Today we are starting off with two rounds of 15 single arm deadlifts with the left, then 15 single arm deadlifts with the right, followed by 30 Russian swings. How long it takes to do those two rounds, you're gonna rest one to one, then you are gonna do two rounds of 160 foot shuttle sprint, followed by 20 Russian swings. Same deal, you're gonna rest one to one on that, and then once you finish both those workouts, we're gonna combine them for one long one. Mm -hmm. 160 foot shuttle sprint, mm -hmm. 20 Russian swings. Hell yeah. 30 single arm deadlifts left side. Tell them. 60 Russian swings. 30 single arm deadlifts right side. Other side. 20 Russian swings. Hell yeah. And another 160 foot shuttle sprint. Let's do that damn thing. Let's I'm do so it. tired Jeez. saying the whole thing. For those of you guys, oh damn, you already did. He's back up. We're gonna talk about some options on that single arm deadlift and we're also gonna go over some points of performance for your Russian swings. All right, now let's go. Damn, I did a double dip. All right guys, so we're talking the Russian kettlebell swing. We're gonna talk to you about three main points, your stance, your timing, and what your arms are doing. First things first, Sean's gonna get set up with a slightly wider than squat stance, so just outside his shoulders. This is gonna put him in a good position to hike the kettlebell back. Notice he's also about a foot, foot and a half behind the kettlebell, so he's gonna use the momentum of the weight pulling back to help him into his first couple swings. Go ahead and show us some. So notice right off the bat, he's set up with a straight back, tight core, and he's already moving efficiently. Go ahead and rest. Next thing we wanna discuss is your timing into this movement. Now, you want to move the weight as efficiently as possible using your core and your hip extension to get the weight up. So you're gonna to need to be patient, waiting for the weight to come back down, making contact with your hips before rapidly extending upwards. Go for it. If you're not making contact with your forearms and your hips, you're probably not using them and you're just doing some front raises with a really light kettlebell. Now the third thing we're gonna discuss is what your arms are doing. We don't wanna be using our arms for this movement. Like we said, it is a hip extension movement, so they should be as relaxed as possible. We don't want zombie arms completely extended and we don't want T-Rex arms pulling that weight in close using your biceps. Now, if you don't have a kettlebell, another option to do this movement with is your dumbbells. If you have a heavy dumbbell, you could do two hands on one dumbbell. And another option you're gonna have is to do single arm swings. Sean's gonna go ahead and show us both of those. All right, my babies, let's talk about those single arm deadlifts. Now we have Frank here doing the demo. Notice as he's doing these single arm deadlifts, his hips are staying higher than his knees. This also allows him to keep his back straight. Suggested weight for this workout is gonna be 50 for men, 35 for ladies. One thing I do want you guys to notice is as he is making contact with that dumbbell, only one head needs to touch. <laughs> Now, you can also do this movement with other pieces of equipment, again, if we are limited. So Frank can also do this with a kettlebell and other various objects, which he's gonna go grab right now. What is that called again? Cinder block. Cinder block. Go ahead. We're just gonna keep that rolling. I said that like a at the wrong time that kettlebell is going to be swinging in the wrong direction and you're probably going to be using your shoulders more than your hips to get that weight up how do you do a wrong <laughs> what is that called again cinder block cinder block go ahead we're just going to keep that rolling I said that like I wasn't on the mic. I'm still talking. <laughs> Say cinder block. Yes. Should I mess up my hair? <sighs> All right, let's go. Three, two, one. What's up, little kids? <laughs> What's up, little babies? Let's do some things. All right, ready? Yeah. 
Go good. Three, two, one.